morning, December 31st. I woke up at 3.22 a.m. bright and early, and I'm doing my morning routine. This is lemon water with three tablespoons of wheatgrass and probiotic. Thanks for watching. Now that the wheatgrass is over, I got my oatmeal going in the microwave. Um, it's about 6.30, I'm still the only one awake in my home right now. Um, about to head out. I hope you guys are ready for another fun-filled day, packed full of crazy adventures. The first thing I'm heading to do is a BNI meeting. If you're not familiar with BNI, it is the largest hour and a half long awesome opportunity to practice our referral uh, relationship marketing oops step on the toy santa brought that for my son anyway they're still sleeping oatmeal's done i'm gonna put my chia seeds cashews raisins and prepare myself a little vegan breakfast um, again hope, hope you guys can stay tuned this entire episode we have a woman coming by from the newspaper right after the bni meeting to present us with an award that we won and, and I get to clean another carpet with my beautiful, lovely, intelligent, uh, hardworking wife, Angela. So stay tuned. This is going to be a good episode. You're not going to want to miss. Oh, by the way, and if you haven't done so already, please click the link below and subscribe and like this video. Thanks. All right, so Denise Carver with the, what is it, Tribune in Georgia? Tribune in Georgia just dropped this off, our new award. Um, Best of Camden 2019, that is our eighth year in a row of winning this award here in our local county. So pretty cool, I'm excited, and it's a great way to finish out a really good year. So Denise just left, we're heading out. Angela and I head to a job. We're gonna be cleaning a carpet at an attorney's office in downtown Kingsland not exactly sure how big or bad because the last time I saw this carpet it was when they called us for an emergency water extraction and we ended up referring the job to a another local company Paul Davis that's no longer in business and because um, all of our equipment was actually at another water loss right next door anyway we're gonna be hopefully shooting some video and you guys can see um, this carpet come clean on the way, I realized we were kind of low on gas, so I went ahead and filling up now. Um, this can get kind of pricey. Let me spin this around and show you what we're working with. So we put premium gasoline in all of our vehicles. Even I put it in my minivan. I don't know why. I guess years ago I heard that something about premium gasoline is better for your engine. Again, I'm not even sure it's true, but all of our vans now get premium Another fun fact, almost 12 years ago now when I first got started in business, I figured out real quickly how much we were spending in fuel cost every month, and it's about 7%. The numbers really haven't changed much since then. And believe it or not, it's actually just about the exact same for chemicals. Whew, that wasn't too bad. 73.30. It's just not over 100. Uh, these vans, these big vans, they don't get that great of gas mileage. But better than some 3500 chevy express one ton fill it up about every other day just walked through and angel and i just walked through uh put everything up moved some smaller items and now we're going to go ahead and start vacuuming we also got permission to film as long as we don't show any client information because it is an attorney's office so check this out so this is the first step of professional carpet cleaning anytime you do any kind of professional carpet cleaning you always start with commercial vacuuming very few exceptions to that one being a greasy nasty restaurant next step apply preconditioner and this is just a soap free detergent that kind of helps loosen up the soils embedded into the fiber oh there i am putting up our sealer door kind of keeps the air nice or the humidity kind of low in the in the office there to help dry times also keeps the bugs out but again this is me you can see that spot there we're kind of applying it rather 
generously in some of these areas where it comes off of the hard surface you see right there as well. Um, oh, and now we're CRBing. This is the Counter Rotating Brush Machine, or CRB. This is a 15-inch model, and it's got what's called renovator trays there on the side. And when we got done, actually, those trays were completely full. Um, this office allows pets, so they've got two... To, what was I, I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, they had two pets, two dogs in the office all the time. This is the final step most of the time, unless we're applying either deodorizer or protectant, and this is called hot water extraction. Most people refer to this part as steam cleaning, and you can kind of see why if you look closely. Um, you can see quite a bit of steam pouring off of the... Uh, the wand there and for the nerds watching that is a titanium six jet 14 inch uh, well two inch in diameter but a 14 inch head with a teflon glide a very very lightweight wand um and i really wanted to actually rotovac this job but angela got really upset when i mentioned that and um she wanted me to wand it which ended up working out really really well i'm um, not Sure, if you guys can see it as well as I could when I was cleaning it, but this carpet cleaned up really, really well, especially after we CRB'd it. A lot of times when we apply our soap-free detergent or that preconditioning, as long as we've done a good job vacuuming, once we apply that and then agitate with the counter-rotating brush machine, it actually looks almost clean. And I've had a number of clients say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it looks so good. Thank you so much. And, I have to tell them, um, well, you're welcome, but we actually haven't done the final step yet. And they can't believe it. So they're so impressed with just the agitation of preconditioner into the fiber with the counter-rotating brush machine. It's a really, really awesome machine that does a great job agitating. This is another great spot here that came out really, really well. It's kind of a rough area. Um, you'll see in just a second, there was some orange spots. And that was actually where the dog had thrown up several times and they tried a couple different things to get those spots out and really had no no luck with that that table um, that I'm working around we don't actually show what's on top of it but there were nine chairs on top of the table and when we got done uh, we put protection over our shoe shoe covers and we actually went and set all those chairs down and put little blocks on the um, little tabs under the legs and so that when it dries they can just pull those out um, but this is just the lobby um, again this had quite a bit of hev heavily soiled area in this um, in the lobby here especially when it transitioned from that hard surface or that tile and grout to the uh, carpet i will tell you when we showed up the woman um, wanted us to clean two couches in addition to the carpet unfortunately um, the upholstery tool one of our upholstery tools was being used by uh, another van, and so we were ill-prepared to tackle that, but that's okay, because we didn't really have the time or desire to do that as, uh, today as well, so we just scheduled that for, for Friday, and she was happy with that. All right, just wrapped up at the attorney's office. Can't say their name, they asked us not to, but it turned out amazing. Um, I'm not sure how it looks on the camera yet, because I haven't reviewed the film, but, um, in person when we were going out the door she said wow that looks brand new happy new year we're going to be going back on friday. on friday to clean two sofas one was italian silk so say a prayer for me wish me luck we'll be knocking that out and hopefully get another video up all right time for the fun part this is all from that one job the attorney's office Yikes, that smells like money. Uh, completely full. That tank was rinsed out, cleaned out, so all that is from that nice, light, semi-clean looking carpet. Um, thank you folks for watching.